Wellness Wednesday and Dr. Savita and I, we're going to talk to you about basically stress, what we all deal with every single day. You know, from the exercise standpoint, it's very important to exercise. And many people will tell me, oh, I don't have the time. Well, you need to make the time. I'm yep. sure you heard it many, many times, but trust me, it really creates some all sorts of hormones in your body, which is going to help you to deal with the stress so much better, okay? So obviously, you're going to have the happy hormones going for you, yep. the stress hormones rather, when you're going to start to actually exercise, you know, the epinephrine, norepinephrine, it's going to provide you some energy. Yep. You're going to start to feel like your adrenaline is like rushing through your body and you're going to start to feel better after the first 20 minutes. And it's also going to help you to produce more serotonin yep. in your body, right? So because of that, you're going to be able to sleep better. I personally mean uh, exercising, you know, obviously for over 30 years and loving the weights itself, you know, for over 30 years. Uh, I personally uh, 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 experienced that, that I slept so much better when I actually I trained with the weights itself compared to when I did conditioning days. So everybody has their own, own things, what they love to do. M make sure you do that, whatever makes you happy and whatever creates that serotonin. You know, runners yeah. have that high. I never had that high but you know much respect for them and they are amazing so we just have to find that little outlet where we actually feel that hormone relief and a release and that way you're gonna be able to feel better about yourself yeah so what do you say that how, how should people uh, deal with stress so other than obvious things like exercise that we talk about meditation mm -hmm. in the past before you know it's super important to be able to hone in on that part of your life in order to go forward from multiple different areas um, everybody Everybody has ups and downs, you know, I've, I've gone through a couple here recently and it's it's fine, everybody does that, you push forward, you go through it, you know, make sure you take care of yourself, be thankful for the things that you have, and also make sure that you're eating properly, the basic things that you need to do. Continue to hydrate appropriately, don't put toxins in the body that then make you more sluggish, make you feel worse. Um, what most people do many yeah, times because, when they get stressed out, right? Yeah, because what happens is you choose what makes you feel better. And what makes you feel better is not necessarily the best choice. So try the only thing, and, and I think you've talked about this on um, different posts, the only thing that's constant in life is change. Yeah. So learning what the change is, being accepting of that change, and being able to move forward through it. It's not always that easy. It's not always the fun road to go down, but it is something that when you get to the end of that area, end of that bridge, it does make a difference. You feel like you've been you know, accomplish something. So Absolutely. super important. Um, sleep is a third of our life. So making sure that you get not just the exercise, the diet and the nutrition, but the sleep that because that helps in stress reduction. Too. That's where your body so, recovers truly. Yeah, absolutely. And people absolutely. are absolutely on. Uh, it's, it's an annoying, annoying subject to me because I find this all the time that unfortunately that's the least where they pay attention to people pay attention to. They don't sleep. Many people just they they're but they are behind that they want to make money and at the end of the day, unfortunately, they don't sleep enough. And unfortunately, they are cutting down on their longevity, mm -hmm. on their health, yeah, because absolutely. there is no way they're gonna be able to recover. And nothing is perfect. Sometimes this week is not good for sleep, but make it something that you put on your wish list all the time. So stress reduction, definitely exercise, nutrition, water, isn't it getting back to the seven steps all over again? Yes. Even just stress in itself can be helped when you do all of those things. So I just wanted to make sure we reached out to you guys to talk a little bit more about that because I've been hearing a little bit more, mm -hmm. not necessarily on here, but with, with, with patients. And I do think that it's something that is really super important that we take for granted that we need to work on. Absolutely. So remember, if you can not change the stimulus, change the way you look at the stimulus. Absolutely. You know, exercise medicine, guys. Nutrition is the key.